Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book The House of Morgan. An American Banking Dynasty and the Rise of Modern Finance. London was the sun in the financial solar system. Bankers of the city, London's financial district were self-styled potentates. Firms such as Barings and Rothschild maintained an imperial reserve, to be asked for lunch was like being received in audience by a king. This is how the author describes the financial circle of London in the 30s and 40s. One day in 1835, an American named George Peabody set foot in London. Peabody was born into a poor family in Massachusetts. His father died when he was just a teenager, and Peabody started working in his brother's shop in order to feed his mother and six siblings. His early years of poverty shaped him into a frugal and diligent man. He kept working and devoted himself to accumulating wealth. In 1838, George Peabody opened his business at 31 Moorgate Street, London. At that time, his humble office had only a counter, a safe, and a few desks. But can you imagine that years later this shabby business would grow into a wealthy financial empire? How many legendary stories happened during this time? How was the financial empire built? This is the story of the House of Morgan. This book is a classic business literature whose subject stretches across finance, history, politics, diplomacy, and economics. With the Morgans as the main characters in the storyline, it describes the 150 years of the rise and fall of Wall Street. It provides detailed accounts from the dusty historical records of the mediation that House of Morgan has executed between political and financial figures, and unveils the mysterious financial empire built by four generations of the Morgan family. The author of this book Ron Chernow is the president of the Board of Trustees of the Penn American Center. He has written highly acclaimed books, such as Washington, A Life, Alexander Hamilton, and Titan, The Life of John D. Rockefeller. He has won numerous awards such as the National Book Award, Pulitzer Prize, and American History Book Prize. Chernow is especially adept at writing biographies of financial, commercial, and political figures. Fortune magazine called him America's best business biographer. Now, we will tell you the essence of this book in three parts. Part 1, The Morgans of the Baronial Age, 1838-1913. Part 2, The Morgans of the Diplomatic Age, 1913-1948. Part 3, The Morgans of the Casino Age, 1948 to 1990. Part 1, The Morgans of the Baronial Age, 1838 to 1913. The Morgans Baronial Age is a term used in the book to refer to a time period between 1838, the year George Peabody started his business in London, and 1912, the year of Pierpont Morgan's death. Within this 70-year period, the Morgans grew prosperous under the leadership of its two founders and Pierpont Morgan, its second leader. Let's find out how the two founders of the House of Morgan came together. In 1835, a debt crisis swept through the United States. This happened due to the construction of public transportation facilities in the states, which led to the failure of some state governments to timely repay their loans to the British creditors. Against this backdrop, American George Peabody was assigned by the federal government to go to London and find a solution. Not only did he succeed in resolving the crisis, he also secured an additional loan of $8 million. This earned him a commission of $60,000 from the state of Maryland, which he gave up in order not to be seen as corrupt by his new British acquaintances. This assignment also earned him a good reputation in the British financial circle. Three years later, George Peabody established his business in London to fund overseas trade, issue stocks and bonds, and provide high-value financing. This business was named George Peabody & Company, which was the predecessor of the House of Morgan. At the time, American bonds were not popular in Britain. In their eyes, no American business could develop successfully.